I'm not sure if this is being picked up particularly very well, but it looks like this is quite a punky piece of wood, which it didn't feel like when I put it onto the worm screw, but it started to wobble a bit now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off the chuck and apply some CA glue into the thread of the woodworm screw. That way it should hold it sufficiently to allow me to turn this at a little bit of a higher speed to be able to get some sort of a, a foot in place to be able to spin it round. What I don't want to do is I don't want to lose too much material from this bowl as it's too precious to waste. So bear with me. I'm going to use some Gorilla Glue I think just inside the threads just to support it a little bit it's quite thick this stuff plan here is to make it a hollow form but with a bit of a live edge um, so this part here is not going to be majorly important for the turn so I'm just going to leave that to dry now for a little bit and then we'll get it back on the lathe and see how it works out Well, to anyone who's never worked with burl wood before, um, please think twice, because people like the very talented Chris Parker, um, I'll leave a link to Chris channels below, um, he makes it look so easy, but this wood is like trying to cut um, cork. It's so porous, so fickle. Um, I've had to turn a mortise at the bottom of here that's quite wide because there was just nothing for it to grab hold of um i ended up having to epoxy this in so what i'm going to have to do now is slowly take this piece out so take out the worm screw out and clean it up um i've not finished the outside as yet because uh it just kept coming away from center so plan now will be to um turn it to round and slowly start to remove this because what I don't want to do is have this fly off. So let's get it turned around, let's get this out and then let's hollow it out and then let's see what we're left with, Whether decide whether we're going to color it or whether we're going to just leave it natural. So, okay, all right, let's crack on.
quite clearly you can see this loads of spinny pointy things so I've out of an old screwdriver and some uh, arbonet what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently tickle the inside of this and um, sand away the uh, turning marks wish me luck Okay, so I've got it to a shape that I'm reasonably happy with and the more I'm looking at it the more it reminds me of fire with the the apexes of the bark inclusions looking like flames licking um, licking the sky so with that in mind that's what I think I'm gonna do for coloring with intrinsic colors from Hampshire Sheen burnt orange Ruby, flame, straw, black as the base coat. So I've sanded up to 400 grit um, to start off with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold a paper towel into a pad, quite a tight pad. And then I'm going to apply some um, stain onto this. I'm going to apply black first of all because I want to get into all these inclusions because when something's burning, you do see it has multi layers so this will give the appearance of it being charred and burnt circular motions let's get it all in now as you as you can see sort of straight off the bat there it looks almost as though it's been scorched by fire. Um, I've got to say that black is very, very black. Um, still a few pieces here, but I'm not too worried about that because what we're going to do now is we're going to sand it, sand it back. So that's the black sanded back, and I do really like the way that has actually turned out. I'm going to start off with straw around the base. Apply this around the base. That's the outside done for the moment. But what I want to try and do is add a bit of detail to these live edge here uh, to give it a bit of a, a little bit of something something. So for that, I'm going to use the Chestnut Products Gold Gilt Cream. And using a toothbrush, I think I'm just going to try and brush it into the edges and see how that looks. whilst this is looking in my opinion incredible anyway um i think by adding an extra layer or a layer of the embellishing gold wax from hampshire sheen will um, just add that extra glimmer finish the outside of this I'm going to just finish off with Hampshire Sheen uh, finishing wax the high gloss 